Beirut's southern suburbs, the slums which hold half a million people, mostly Shiite Muslims. They look upon foreigners as spies and blame the government for their virtual state of siege. State authority ends here. Teenage gunmen belonging to the Amal movement guard the entrance. Theirs is a shabby world of poor housing, bad roads and sometimes non-existent main services, all due, they say, to government neglect. They are suspicious of anything from outside, and while Islamic influence prevails, there's also room for Western ideas, especially in clothes. The Shiites are now thought to be the largest religious group in Lebanon. Under the existing system, they hold the third rank of office in government. Power, they say, is not fairly divided. But while they pray about equality for the masses, Amal denies that the movement is part of an Islamic revolution for Lebanon. Muslim and Christian coexistence, they say, is possible under their terms. The army is made up of about a third Shiite, and there's doubt whether it would hold together if the government gave the order to take the slums. The leader of Amal says that if it happened, he would call on Shiites to desert. I sent a message to Amin Ismail about that. Don't try to destroy the suburban again. If you would do it, I cannot support it. I will destroy everything. He does not have the power to destroy everything, but he has already dismissed as finished President Jamal's proposals for a new security plan which would include policing the suburbs. And there's no doubt that Amal now has enough strength to make itself heard in whatever comes next. Brent Sadler, News at 10, Beirut.